Welcome to AppMap. In this video, we'll talk about what types of projects work best with AppMaps and what you'll need to get AppMap added to your project. AppMap currently supports Ruby, Java, Python, and JavaScript programming languages. Our support for Python and JavaScript is currently in technical preview, and we would love to hear your feedback. Join us at appland.com slash Slack to join our Slack community. If you have a project in another language, reach out to us on Slack and let us know so that we can add support for it into our roadmap. AppMap works best with web applications and API frameworks, such as Rails, Django, Flask, Express, and Spring. That's because we have specialized features for mapping web services, routing, HTTP client requests, caching, authentication, SQL, and others. You can map any kind of service in our supported language, but it's when you map a database-backed web application or API service that you'll see the full power of AppMaps. The size of your project doesn't matter. In fact, the larger the project, the more useful app map becomes to identify unknown code quality issues. Once you've identified a ideal project, begin by installing app map into your VS Code or JetBrains code editor. You can find app map in the marketplace for the respective editor by just searching for app map. From here, we'll install this into our editor and you can find app map in VS Code on the left-hand navigation bar or in JetBrains on the right hand side. From here we need to ensure that we are running a supported version of Node.js to run the AppMap automated installer. You can confirm the version by running Node-V. Right now we support versions 14 and 16 and would need those installed locally for that automated installer. And if you don't have Node.js you can download it at nodejs.org. From there you can click on the plugin and then click on install AppMap agent to start running the automated installer. At this point, you should have Node.js installed locally and the plugin is installed for your code editor in a suitable project. If you don't have access to a suitable project, but you still wanna try it out, check out our sample project on GitHub and follow along. This is a sample Ruby on Rails application running a basic Twitter clone. If you run into any problems, join us at appland.com slash slack and get help from the AppMap engineers there. 